Welcome to The Expositor Podcast with Dr. Stephen J. Lawson. Dr. Lawson is the founder and president of One Passion Ministries. The Expositor Podcast is focused on taking your preaching to the next level. Now, here's Dr. Lawson. In this podcast, I want to talk about the preacher as evangelist. Uh, There are many different pictures that portray the role of the preacher, and all of them are important to us. Uh, These images are not a multiple choice where we can pick two or three out of the larger number that we would want to represent our preaching ministry. No, these are like links in a chain, and each one is vitally important to the strength of the whole. And so as we talk about evangelist, this is not an option for any preacher. Every expositor of the Word of God must be an evangelist with the Word of God. Uh, The word evangelist means one who brings good news. Uh, It refers to the good news of salvation that is in Jesus Christ. And the greatest message that will ever come from your lips is the good news of the salvation that God has provided in His Son, Jesus Christ, through His sinless life and substitutionary death. And as we expound a passage of Scripture and as we are edifying the saints and building them up in their faith, we must also be mindful that there will always be unbelievers, perhaps even unknown to them, um, as they are perhaps unaware of their lost condition, presuming upon the grace of God. And so as we preach the Word of God, We must be preaching the gospel to those who profess Christ but do not possess Christ, unconverted church members, as well as those who would be visitors or who have been invited to come hear us preach who are without Christ, an unconverted spouse, an an unconverted child or teenager. Uh, We must be preaching the gospel to them as well. And so in 2 Timothy 4, verse 2, when Paul says, preach the word, he then gives eight consecutive imperative verbs on how to preach the word. And when we come to verse 5, there's an important imperative that says, do the work of an evangelist. That's in the imperative mood. Um, Paul is commanding Timothy as he preaches the word to the saints, reproving, rebuking, Um, exhorting with much patience and instruction, he must also be doing the work of an evangelist. That is true for you. Um, Every time you stand up to preach the Scripture, you must be casting the net of the gospel and drawing it in to be a fisher of men. Jesus said to His disciples in Matthew 4, 17, Follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. If we're not fishing... We're not following. And so it's a part of being a follower of Christ in our preaching ministry. Um, Romans 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. And so as we preach the word of God and people hear us, the God-appointed means for them to come to faith in Christ is by the hearing of the Word of God. Uh, We are to be doing the work of an evangelist. Interesting, the book of Hebrews is really an evangelistic sermon. At the end of the book of Hebrews, in Hebrews 13, 22, uh, the writer identifies the book as a word of exhortation. Well, that very phrase is used in Acts 13 to describe a sermon that Paul gave on his first missionary journey. And as you read the book of Hebrews, it becomes very apparent this is an evangelistic message. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? And so we have the example, even in Scripture of itself, of an entire book in the Bible being an evangelistic sermon. This is to say that as preachers of the Word of God, several things. Number one, we must be mindful that there will always be unbelievers who will be sitting under our preaching. Many a time I've convinced myself, no, we're all believers here, 
And after the service, someone will come up to me and make mention, oh, I'm so glad that you preached the gospel because I brought my, my, my father-in-law to church this Sunday. He needs Christ. So in ways beyond which we are even aware, we must be mindful of unbelievers. Second, we must preach the gospel with clarity. Uh, the gospel is a simple message, uh, the profound truth, but even a, a child can believe this message. So keep the message very simple and very clear. Then call, third, call for a response. Don't just tell people how to be saved. Tell them what they must do to be saved. It's the subjective element of the gospel that they must repent of their sins and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Fourth, hold forth the blessings and the benefits of faith in Christ, forgiveness of sin, the righteousness of Christ, a home in heaven, the indwelling presence of God in a person's life. Hold forth the benefits. And then finally, fifth, warn them if they fail to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, the reality of eternal destruction. And so as you preach the gospel, be persuasive, calling people, but attempting to win them to faith in Jesus Christ. So as an expositor of a text of Scripture to edify the saints, also be mindful to do the work of an evangelist. God bless you.